reacts. Testing, testing, one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my life. How are you feeling? How are you doing today? Huh? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> uh, today we're checking out Porter Robinson, Russian roulette. I have checked out Porter Robinson twice or three times before make sure you um search in the channel porter robinson you know check out all the other stuff i do have a playlist for him as well as i do with every artist but uh today we're checking out this uh it just looks like a, a lyric video or a visualizer not an official music video but um you know I i'm curious i'm interested so let's check it out i'm wondering if he will release an official video in the future or if we're just getting this but nonetheless um let's get into it get ready uh get some popcorn fill up your water put your headphones on huh? Huh? let's go also if you guys can please uh give me a little bit more of um background information about porter robinson i i remember some of it but it's still there's there's so many people and so many things i can you know only keep track of so much i am just one human right so uh comment down below thank you Okay, already like explosion of sound in my ears.
song is coming to a close. That's the format we're used to. Cliches like this are beautiful, because they reflect us, and we are beautiful. Take, for example, this chord progression. It only became taboo because it was too powerful. That's why you won't forget it. Don't kill yourself, you idiot. <laughs> Um, impressive way to whoa, what? What it's uh, this is not let's skip this ad. Um, I will get YouTube Premium pretty soon, so just bear with me. I think the commercials add a little bit to comedy. I actually don't even mind them that much, but um, I understand where you're coming from. Um, okay, first things first, we hit the like. And, um, man, I'm, I'm, I'm still like tripping over the song that I can't, we subscribe and I have a link of the original video down in the description below. What a twist, dare I say, because to me, personally, most of the song I felt was a bit generic. Don't kill me. Don't stab me. Don't hurt me. Um, I just thought it was, you know, compared to everything else that I have heard from Porter Robinson, this was pretty standard. I didn't notice anything crazy, anything like, oh my God, it's outstanding with sound, with or lyrics or, you know, melody, his voice, anything like not, it, it wasn't bad. Don't get me wrong. It was, it was fine. But like nothing really stood out to me and... You know, I was going to be like, hmm, what's, you know, what's going on? This is a pretty long song, six and a half minutes. What's going to happen? But then it started to change. And I noticed that it kind of, sure, it did follow certain classical song structures. But it kind of, it was kind of jumping around. I don't know. It had like a lot of different segments, more than you would have in a, in a regular, you know, two and a half, three minute song. Uh, and then towards the end here, it, it got a little bit wacky. It got goofy and he definitely added more personality and originality into the song, which I liked. And again, I'm not saying like the beginning was bad or anything. It just, you know what it reminded me of? <clears throat> I was picturing early 2000s movies, those classic movies about... Uh, college or high school and you're the new kid in town you know your parents had to move because of work and you're they're struggling to pay rent so you barely have you know the clothes on your back you show up to the school you start to get bullied and um, you know it's hard to make friends but you do meet a, a couple of goofballs that are in sort of the the same position as you they're kind of uh, extroverts and you know not conformed to the uh, popular standard of the high school so they're not you know in in the uh, the groups are not with the jocks or with uh, any of the other groups so you're kind of the outcasts and there's a, a girl you like right you have a crush on she's beautiful you see the slow-mo shot as she's walking out the door and you're walking in and you see each other and it's just like glitter everywhere um, and so you immediately like her and you want to pursue a relationship with her and hence the struggle begins this is just what i was picturing in my head this is a song that would fit very well with that kind of movie i think i would say so because it was just bringing me back to that era it's hard to like really tell you guys what bands stand out to like maybe third eye blind that was a, 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 a band back then that was of the similar style. Um, uh, the other, like I said, it just sounds uh, like a bit generic of those movies. Even not, not thinking, well, I have so many thoughts, not thinking about it. I don't think those movies even showed popular songs. It was just like artists that they brought in. It's like, play this, you know, for the, for the movie and... So that's why they don't kind of stand out. 
and his voice is soothing it's nice but again like to me it sounds almost like he could like covers of popular songs like for example the other day i was listening to a cover that somebody did of a linking park song and of course we know chester's voice really stands out of course but the cover the guy that was doing the cover he had like a regular voice almost like this guy right and i'm not saying that in a in a bad or negative way it's just you know it's it's a voice but uh it's just like it wasn't super like oh my god like memorable to me but it was a nice singing voice for this kind of song and actually i don't know if you guys uh used to watch these shows um back in the day sweet life of zach and cody hannah montana drake and josh um wizards of waverly place like those kind of shows that we grew up with if you're you know in my generation from the 90s i think this song would fit very well in like an intro to that song or in like a commercial or something from that time period until the end then the what what is going on here uh, until the end then it got kind of wacky and uh this whole part with i want to say the with all due respect the stephen hawking voice right very robotic ai generated that kind of thing um it's what, what do they call it like when you're self-aware and you know what you're doing and you're kind of making fun of yourself or something that you're doing but uh in a goofy way not in you know with malice or anything just uh joking is it's like you know that this is where the song comes to an end boo blah 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 um what do they say here the uh the kick drum and bass suggest the song is coming to a close boo it's ah uh, it's it's so like interesting to have added this to the song like i could picture maybe doing like a a thing like this on stage but um you know for the actual song it's kind of you know i don't think i had seen something like like comedy thrown in there into a, a serious song or a real song but uh yeah that part was really original like i said i enjoyed it and actually the whole progression this was an adventure this is what happens with longer songs i think six and a half minutes it's it's just enough if you if you want to make a longer song i think you know six to seven minutes just fine if it's longer then it just becomes like oh like more than you'd want i think this was a, an experience and it wrapped up in in such an interesting way that it does make the song memorable because i'm going to remember this part in the voice and um not so much the lyrics because like i said they were kind of goofy and uh i, I like i was gonna say it didn't have a deeper meaning but then i remember at the end it was literally saying i i don't want to die i want to live so actually this song is uh uplifting like i said at the beginning all throughout to me this almost felt like filler lyrics and don't get don't get me wrong guys don't don't be offended i'm just saying like i didn't uh notice like a story like storytelling or, or something like that it was just like lyrics of things here and there but then towards the end all these lines i want to see my mom one more time i want to play my songs one more time all these things one more time one more time it's like i i, I want to live i want to experience the little things in life even when he said i want to lose my phone one more time um it, it's just you're gonna miss those things this almost felt like when you're literally about to die or god forbid you're on death row right and they're like okay you have 24 hours to live imagine that if you if somebody was literally like you have 24 hours to live you'd be like oh my god i want to i want to do everything one more time right just the, the little things i want to brush my teeth one more time i want to walk the dog one more time i want to do my homework one more time just anything except dying um so actually this this is what i'm saying like 
most of the song was kind of normal and then towards the end it just it exploded uh so yeah don't don't kill yourself you idiot uh i think this is <laughs> this is it's like a double uh a backhanded uh um compliment or something like that but it's inspirational at the end and like i said just cherish the little things in life as i'm doing right now actively i'm i'm happy to be alive in good health overall and happy to be reacting to this video it's like i, I can't complain just think about your life right the little thing even you you watching the reaction of me watching this video let's just let's just hug it out guys let's hug it out um so yeah guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction think about your life in a positive way don't think about the negatives too much because um it sounds so cliche but the glass is half full hit the like subscribe share join the channel if you want to support me and at the end do a flip till the next thanks for watching